are going to begin with our first sex and phonics lesson of second grade. Throughout the year, we're going to learn new facts about uh, the alphabet and letter sounds and combinations as we go through. So, we're going to get started this morning. Now, every lesson we will have a focus. So, our lesson today is short and long vowels. All right, you will have a set of papers. Your paper for today looks like this. At the top, the front side says worksheet one, and that is the front side. So this is the page you will need. So if you need to pause, you may pause the, le the lesson and find your worksheet one because you will need it before we move on. Now, right, symbols are pictures or drawings that mean something. All right, in your car, you have knobs or different pictures that stand for something. So in your car, you may have a light that comes on or a button in your car. All right, this symbol means something. It's the symbol that means lights. If you're in town or at school, you may see this symbol in different places. You may even see it in a bathroom or near a water fountain. All right, this symbol means something. All right, this symbol tells you it is for people that need extra assistance, okay? So if they're in a wheelchair and need to be rolled up, they can use that area. It's lower down and they can use it. So symbols stand for something. All right, our letters and numbers are also symbols. They mean something or stand for something. In case you don't already know, an alphabet is a set of characters or symbols that represent a sound. For example, our letter T stands for the T sound. All right, think about the letter N. What sound does it represent? Yes, the letter N stands for the N mm sound. All right, very good. Now, do you know how many symbols or, or letters are in our alphabet? There are 26 letters in our alphabet. How many letters are in our alphabet? Yes, there are 26 letters in our alphabet. There are two types of letters in the alphabet. There are consonants and vowels. Listen again. There are two types of letters, consonants and vowels. What are the two types of letters? Yes, consonants and vowels are the two types of letters. We will learn about consonants and vowels soon. Now, having only one symbol for each sound would make our language super easy. However, even though this type of alphabet is easier to use, most alphabets don't have one letter for each sound. So let's think again, how many letters are in our alphabet? Yes, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. That's right, but we have at least 40 different sounds in our language. And there are over 100 ways to spell those sounds. So even the experts have difficulty agreeing on the number of sounds because of the way our language varies. So think about how English sounds in different places. We live in South Georgia. All right, think about the way we talk. Now think about if you went way up to New York and think about the way they talk. We sound very different. All right, so sometimes learning to read and spell in English can be a little tricky at times. 
So let's review how many letters are in our alphabet thing. Yes, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. How many sounds are in the English language? Yes, there are at least 40 different sounds in the English language. And we're going to be learning more about them this year. All right, you're going to be needing your worksheet in front of you. Mine looks a little different, but as we go through, I will put the answers on the board. All right, on most days, you are going to have a worksheet for our lesson. This is going to give you the opportunity or chance to practice what we're learning. All right, think about the vowels. Can you name your vowels? Get ready. All right, the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Say them again. A, E, I, O, and U. Yes. All right, it's your turn. On numbers 1 through 10 on your paper, it's on this side, on the left-hand side, let's see if you can write your letters, your vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. I want you to write the uppercase or tall vowels and the lowercase or little vowels. Write them both, one through ten. Pause the video, and then when you're ready to check, press play, and we will check your answers. All right, let's check your answers. All right, these can be in any order. It doesn't matter which order, as long as you have the capital and the lowercase for each vowel. So I have capital or Tall, big A, lowercase a, uppercase E, lowercase E, uppercase I, and I put my hat and feet on him, even though this font does not have it, lowercase I, uppercase O, lowercase O, uppercase U, and lowercase U. So like I said, you can have them in any order. They don't have to be in this exact order as long as you have an uppercase and lowercase of each Bible. You may check your work. Now, touch the box at the top of your paper. All right, each picture stands for a short vowel sound. You are going to write the vowel you think each picture stands for on the line beneath the picture. Listen to each picture name and echo. Octopus. Yes, octopus. Apple. Yes, apple. Umbrella. Yes, umbrella. Elephant. Yes, elephant. Inch. Yes, inch. Your turn. Write the lowercase vowel that you think each picture begins with. Pause the video to do your work. When you're ready to check your work, you may press play. Okay, let's go over your work. All right, here we go. So, when a vowel has a short sound, we put a mark over the top of it. Who remembers what we call that mark? All right, that mark is called a breathe. It looks like a little smiley face right over the top of it. And it lets us know that, that that vowel makes a short sound. So let's look at the first one. All right, we have 
octopus. Ah, octopus. The vowel is O. Ah, octopus. Alright, the next one. Umbrella. Ah, umbrella. Short U. We're going to pl place that breathe over the top of it so that we know it is short. So make sure that you are placing those briefs. If you did it, you may put them in now. Right, our next one. Apple. Listen. A apple. Short A. We put our breathe in. Alright, the next one. Elephant. E elephant. Short E. We place the breathe. And inch, e, inch, place the breathe in. Check your work. Now let's look at the bottom box. All right, at the bottom, each picture is going to stand for a long vowel sound. You're going to write the vowel that you think each picture stands for on the line beneath the picture. Remember, when the vowel has a long sound, we put a straight line or a hat over him. All right, does anyone remember what you called that mark? Yes, it's called a macron. All right, and we're going to make a macron over it to code it. All right, let's go over the pictures. We have a unicorn. Say it. Yes, unicorn. Acorn. Yes, acorn. Icicles. Yes, icicles. Equal. Yes, equal. And overalls. Yes, overalls. Your turn. Write the lowercase vowel that matches the keyword picture. Don't forget to put in your macron to show that the letter name sound is there. Pause the video while you do your work and then press play when you're ready to check your work. Okay, let's check your work. All right, the first one, U, unicorn, long U. Let's put that hat on, that macron. And the next one, A, acorn, long A with a macron. I, icicles, long I with a macron. E equals long E with a macron and O overalls long O with a macron check your work All right now we're going to practice some echo work When we look at our keyword pictures, we will do some echoing. You will say the sound after me and then write it down. So first we're going to practice the keyword pictures and then I'm going to let you write on the lines. Alright, so here we go. Here's our first one, my turn. Apple, short A, I, say it with me. Apple, short A, I. Your turn. Number 11, listen, I. What sound? Yes, I. Write the sound on 
number 11 for A. You should have short A with the brief. Now you notice mine is not there. You still have to make your brief. My font will not put it up there, but you have to make your brief because it is a short A. My turn. Elephant. Short E. E. Say it with me. Elephant. Short E. E. Listen to the sound. E. What sound? Yes. E. Number 12. Write the sound. What letter? Yes, it should be short E with the brief. Next one. My turn. Inch. Short I. E. Say it with me. Inch. Short I. E. Your turn. Number 13. E. Yes, E. Write it. Number 13 should be short I with a brief. My turn. Octopus. Short O. Ah. Say it with me. Octopus, short O, ah. Uh. Number 14, ah. Uh. Yes, ah. Uh. Write it. Yes, you should have short O with a brief. My turn. Umbrella. Short U. Uh. Say it with me. Umbrella. Short U. Uh. Number 15. Uh. Yes. Uh. Write it. Yes. You with a brief. Those are your short vowel sounds. My turn. Acorn. Long A. A. Say it with me. Acorn, long A, A. 16, A. Yes, A. Write it on number 16. Yes, A with a macron, that hat on his head. He says his long vowel sound. Say it with me. Equal. Long E. E. Equal. Long E. E. Number 17. E. Yes. E. E with a macron. Long E. Say it with me. Icicles, long I. I. Icicles, long I. I. Number seven, excuse me, number 18. I. Yes, I.
Yes, I with the macaron. Say it, excuse me, my turn. Overalls. Long O. O. Overalls. Long O. O. Number 19. O. Yes. O. Write it. Yes. Long O or O with a macron. My turn. Unicorn. Long U. U. Unicorn. Long U. 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 Yes. U. Write it on number 20. Yes. U with a macron. All right, one thing I want to say about long U. All right, sometimes it will say the U like in unicorn. Sometimes long U can be a rule breaker. All right, sometimes it's going to have more of a U sound like in Luke and rule and words like that. So sometimes long U can be tricky. But most of the other long vowel sounds will say its name. Sometimes that U can be tricky. But the first sound we're going to try when we see the long vowel U is the U sound. All right. Now. Let's look at some sight words. You can put your pencil down. Name the letters. That's some review. What letter? Yes, A. What letter? Yes, E. What letter? Yes, I. What letter? Yes, O. What letter? Yes, U. I'm right, going to skip this one because we've done this far. All right, now. During our Saxon phonics, we're going to have some sight words or those words we just have to learn by looking at them or by sight. All right, those are words that are a lot of times they're funny words and you can't sound out. All right, let's see if you remember these words from first grade. First word, what word? Yes, are. Next word. Yes, come. Next word. Yes, do. Next word. Yes, eight. It's a number word. Yes, eight. And the next word. Yes, four. Very good job. All right. Here are your new sight word cards. I'm going to use them in a sentence. And in the next few lessons, we'll be practicing how to read them, and some of them we're going to learn how to spell. All right, first word is the word are. What word? Yes, are. We are smart boys and girls. Are. Next word is come. What word? Yes, come. We will come to class each day. Come. Next word is do. What word? Yes, do. I will do my work. Do. The next word is eight. What word? Yes, eight, as in the number word eight. A spider has eight legs. Eight. The next word is four. What word? Yes, four. I have four pencils in my pencil pouch. Four. The next word is from. What word? Yes, from. I will take my book from the library and put it in my desk. From. The next word is have. What word? Yes, have. I have a 
puppy at home have? The next word is into. What word? Yes, into. We will walk into the bedroom quietly. Into. The next word is love. What word? Yes, love. I love my parents. Love. The next word is of. What word? Yes, of. We will say the Pledge of Allegiance each day of. The next word is one. What word? Yes, one. I have one crayon left. One. The next word is said. What word? Yes, said. My mom said to do my best work. Said. The next word is some. What word? Yes, some. I have some candy left. Some. The next word is the. What word? Yes, the. Some people say the, but when you read and you make it sound like you're talking fluently, you want to say the word the. I went to the park yesterday. The. What word? Yes, the. The next word is they. What word? Yes, they. They went to my house. They. The next word is to. What word? Yes, to. I want to go to the store. To. The next word is today. What word? Yes, today. Today is Saturday. Today. The next word is together. What word? Yes, together. We will play together soon. Together. The next word is tomorrow. What word? Yes, tomorrow. It may rain tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. The next word is to. What word? Yes, to. I have two friends from last year, too. The next word is was. What word? Yes, was. He was in my class last year, was. The next word is an asking word. You use it at the beginning of a sentence to ask a question. What is your name? What? This is also an asking word. Where? What word? Yes, where. Where did you put your book? Where? This is also an asking word. Who? Who are you? Who? The next word is you. You are smart. You. All right, parents, on the back of that worksheet, you have some, some of these same sight words that you can practice at home to help your child become more familiar with them and get fluent with those. That will help with the reading skills. Um, you will also have this PowerPoint that I will upload if you want to practice any of those sounds again. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.